Hello everyone, it's me, your average bonehead, Jay. Pixar sequels have always been hit or miss, and what I mean by that, I mean they range from being legitimately good improvements of the original that expand the world, to Cars 2 and Incredibles 2. And you may remember, during my Ralph Breaks the Internet review, I alluded to being worried that Pixar was going to ruin my second favorite animated movie of all time, as well as my favorite movie from Pixar, Inside Out with the release of Inside Out 2. But I'd say after watching it, the verdict's in that it's a good movie that actually enhances the original, like any good sequel should. So here are my quick thoughts on it with some minor spoilers. Starting off with the story, it is pretty similar to the first one, being another race through the mindscape in order to stop Riley from doing something horrible. But there are enough things that are different here. For one, instead of it being joy and sadness, teaming up with joy this time is anger, fear, and disgust. So we managed to get to see their perspective on this whole ordeal. But on top of that, we get more world building and seeing how the mindscape works. Like things like the threads of Riley's belief making up who she is, which is basically the main plot device of the movie, and other little things, like the Vault of Secrets, which, I'm gonna be honest, one of those really did hit close to home. But overall, I like while this story is similar to the first, it is not just a retread of the first. And the best example of that is the characters. Starting off with the new characters first, Anxiety plays the role of our main antagonist, which I find interesting that this movie has an antagonist because the first one really did not. Though they make it clear that Anxiety is an antagonist, not a villain. And that's something I do really like as it makes sense that she thinks what she's doing is helping out Riley, but unknowingly to her, it's just causing more problems. And it is interesting throughout the movie to see how they will make her learn this. Joining anxiety are three other emotions, ennui, which is basically just boredom, who despite that is a very entertaining character, there's embarrassment, who goes through a pretty interesting arc throughout this movie, and then there's Envy, who basically plays the role of Anxiety's second-in-command, who is also my favorite character in this movie, because I seem to have a slight obsession with the small gremlin-type characters, and furthermore... Prepare to fast-forward! Preparing to fast-forward! Fast-forward! Fast-forwarding, sir! <laughs> and that's why Envy is best girl. As for the old characters, I think the one I ironically like the most in this is Riley herself. In the original, I liked Riley fine enough, but she kind of felt more like a plot device. You did feel for her when things weren't going her way, and you understood why, but character-wise, she wasn't really the most interesting. In this movie, you actually care about what's going on with her, and you feel bad when you see her do things like leave her friends behind, or other various things that aren't so good. You see her working herself to exhaustion, and it is very hard to watch in the best possible way. Basically, this is probably the biggest improvement from the first one. As for the others, Joy, I'm happy to report, did not regress in between the two movies. One thing that I see happen with a lot of sequels, especially from Disney or Pixar, is the characters will just regress and have to go through the same arc all over again, or they'll just be turned into a completely different character for no reason that doesn't vaguely resemble what they were at the ending of the last movie. I'm happy to say that that did not happen to Joy. She is still a Joy to watch in this movie and she has a different arc that she has to go through. Sadness, unfortunately, doesn't get the most time to shine in this movie, but I do like her subplot of her trying to sneak back into headquarters. That was definitely entertaining to watch. Since fear, disgust, and anger are actually tagging along on the journey this time, we actually get a lot more with them. It's mainly just more entertaining bits, but it is still more things for them to do, as they actually help out with the plot this time. Speaking of, though, the comedy of this movie, I'm gonna be honest, it's not as funny as the first one. It still has its funny moments, but the first one still got me laughing a lot more. However, that is okay because the themes and messages of this movie are kind of almost on par with the first one to me. This is once again continuing on with the theme of growing up, but now with a little bit of anxiety sprinkled in there, as we once again understand Riley's headspace into why she's doing what she's doing throughout this movie due to the fact that this is all happening when she's going through puberty. So unfortunately for the emotions, it's causing things to kind of go all out of whack. So you end up kind of understanding where anxiety is coming from despite her being in the wrong. And that's why once again, she's a great antagonist and this movie's themes are still really, really good. But honestly, with all that said, I like this movie just a smidge less than the original. But once again, keep in mind, the original is my second favorite movie of all time. So, yeah, that pretty much means this is a great movie. And honestly, probably the best Pixar sequel since Toy Story 3. And that means a lot. I can't recommend this movie enough. Go and see it now. 
Inside Out 2 is a more than worthy follow-up to the original Inside Out, making a perfect duology. Please don't make a third one though. You can make more shorts, but don't make another movie, Pixar. We're good with two. Now, I'm your average bonehead Jay, and I wish you all good night. Oh, you're still here. Well, since you stuck around for this long, you might as well like and subscribe, comment if you're feeling really daring. And while you're at it, you might as well follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jskeleton. Links down below. And if you just want to see more, you can check out the playlist or look at my last video. Now thanks for watching, and if you need me, I'm going back to bed. <laughs>